In this video, I'd like to show you some of the new features in the Global Wind Atlas version 3.1. At the moment, I'm showing you the mean wind speed over the globe at 100 meters. We can see that by looking at the layer selection panel where the mean wind speed has been selected and by looking at the height above ground or C selector panel and you can see it's 100 meters that is selected. So one of the new features we have in the Global Wind Atlas is a function that allows you to see the value accurately that you're pointing to with your cursor from the layer. To activate that, you need to go to this button on the screen, click it, display, display layer values, it's called. And when we do that, we get a series of numbers next to the cursor which indicates the latitude and longitude and the value of the layer at exactly the location of your cursor. Remember this has a lot of detail so you can zoom in and out and so on. It's actually a calculation made for the wind resource every 250 meters through a microscale modeling methodology. Another new feature of the new Global Wind Atlas is a new layer called bathymetry. So I go over to the layer selection panel and select it. And now what we see is water depths over the globe. And what we can see here, if you look at the scale, is that it's going to this deep blue at 1000 meters depth. So here we can see everything that isn't this deep blue is 1000 meters or shallower. So we can start to explore wind resources in conjunction with water depth. Now it can also be interesting to look in more detail at some particular areas. For this example, I'll just look a bit more closely at this area around the south of Vietnam. So you can see the water depths are less than 1000 meters in this area but it's hard to see exactly the, uh, the values. I, of course, can look at the, the uh, display for this location. It's around 50 meters. But what's the sort of topography of this area? So what we can do now is use one of the new features in the Global Wind Atlas, which actually can be used for all layers, which is that you can rescale the legend. So you do that by going to the legend rescale here. And now I'm going to say I'm interested in water depths that are 50 meters or shallower. So I put in minus 50 here to represent the 50 meter water depth and zero here. So now this is representing and changing the, the color scale and legend here. So now I can see in more detail the variation of water depth in the area um, close to the south of Vietnam. Now I may also be interested to know what is the distance I can go offshore and still remain in waters that are 50 meters or shallower. And for that, we can use another new feature of the Global Wind Atlas, which is the ruler function. To use the ruler function, we go over to this button, the ruler, click on it, and then I'm going to measure from the shore to where it's about yeah, or well in this case, 50 meters in depth. And double click to end the ruler function. And I can see that this is 158 kilometers. You can deactivate the ruler function by pressing that. And you can deactivate the display layer values by pressing that again, toggling them on and off. 